Welcome to the Art Project. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, get anything out of it at all, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to get notified of future videos, um, tap the bell. So uh, it is summertime and I get to draw and paint and do whatever I want. And I'm pretty excited. And I have this book that I call the Corvidae book that I made. I've got a video on it uh, some time earlier. I mean, it's been a long time since I made the book. Don't have a lot of pictures in it. Um, but every bird in the book is supposed to be dedicated to the Corvidae species, which, uh, or family, which is basically ravens and blue jays and all of that. And, uh, you know, I, just, I think they are beautiful birds. Ravens are obviously really awesome. And um, I like uh, crows, of course. Blue jays are awesome. And uh, here is a new one I've never heard of before. Oh, I think maybe I've heard of it before, but I didn't pay much attention. It's just kind of a name loosely rattling around my head. And it's called a jack doll. Jack doll. I don't know exactly how you pronounce that, but uh, jack doll. So this book is made with watercolor paper, which allows me to do a lot of um, ink or watercolor wash or acrylic wash. And so I'm basically using FW inks here and I've watered them down a little bit and I'm just gonna put um, a lot of transparent layers and build it up. Uh, and I want them to be you know, a little bit more colorful um, I don't know if I've told you this before, but I'm colorblind, and so I don't always get colors just right. Uh, I basically just, you know, paint what I see. And so the colors are totally wrong or totally made up because, well, I can't really see them. And like I said, I wanted it to be kind of colorful. So uh, I started with uh, a lot of cool colors because the, I think what's um, black feathers are or gray feathers um, have kind of a cool uh, hue to them. But anyway, I'm just kind of, you know, building it up a little bit here and a little bit there. And as it dries and I think of other things, uh, you know, I might add some watercolor, I might add some uh, pen and ink, so or some uh, Pigma Micron pens, uh, just whatever, you know, darken it up, but just slowly and gradually building it up. I uh, actually spent a uh, good part of a day working on this painting, uh, a little bit in the morning, and I stopped for a while, did, did some more uh, later in the morning, and, and some uh, around noon, some afternoon, just worked on it slowly throughout the day, building up different values. I even came out uh, in the evening and uh, worked on it probably uh, probably around eight or nine on on up until ten or so uh, until I couldn't couldn't hold my eyes open any longer. Anyway, um, a lot of what you see here will be painted over. I'm just kind of adding to it and taking away. In a way, it's like um. I'm using sort of an additive method of, uh, of um, like in sculpture, you know, add a little bit of this color and add a little bit of that color and slowly make the form uh, more three-dimensional. And, uh, and of course, uh, nothing's complete, I don't think, without the background. And the background is a really good way of making the foreground pop. And so... I have um, gone ahead and, and thrown in sort of a base coat, just a just a base coat of this green, and I'll add some more stuff to it later on. Uh, yeah, um, and I did this and uh, blotting with a napkin, both to get it to dry faster and also just to um, give it a little bit of texture. This is a jelly roll pen, and uh, I like them. Uh, it leaves kind of a line down the middle of the pen, which is kind of aggravating, but it works. And uh, I like it. It leaves kind of a highlight, or in this case, 
that little stem down the middle of a feather. And uh, sometimes I'll put down like a thick layer of paint and then blot it so that it's a little bit more transparent and not as strong as it is when you first when I first put it down. Uh, also the tail here, look at the tail. The tail is extra short. Now the jackdaw's tail is short, but this is too short. And you're gonna see in a few minutes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it, make it a little bit longer and a little bit more refined in detail. Uh, also the post that it was sitting on was not, not a blue or violet post. Carved a little bit away from the head with this uh, lighter uh, green. Some highlights with the jelly roll. My camera kept slipping and just kind of, you can see how it's like turning upwards slowly and I would have to readjust it and it would turn slowly upwards again and then I'd have to readjust it. Uh, I hope this audio is okay. Uh, I've had to switch my system up a little bit and I have not purchased a new microphone to to do what I needed to do so I'm actually recording this through the headphones that I use to listen to uh, my computer so I apologize for the audio if uh, if you're digging this please give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen a live jackdaw. Uh, are they um, prominent where you live? Um, I don't really know. I don't have a good, accurate idea of how big they are or how small they are. I lengthened the tail a little bit here. Um, not too much, but a little bit. I'm going to go back into it and lighten it up a little bit in places. Also, the feathers right in the middle of the back were kind of wrong. I think I'm going to fix those here in just a minute as well. So it was, it was good fun working on on a jack doll. I may have to do another jack doll from another angle, maybe a flying jack doll. That'd be cool. There are a lot of pages in this book, and I've already named it Corviday. So it really feels like that's what I have to do is live up to the name of the book and just paint. Uh, draw Corviday after Corviday after Corviday in this book. So be watching for more videos like this. This is uh, white FW ink. Get a little bit more aggressive with the highlights here. I have a Redbubble account where you can go and you can buy uh, some of my artwork on stickers, uh, comforters, uh, framed pictures, uh, acrylic block pictures, uh, sometimes um, even coffee mugs and so on. So if you're interested in that, look down in the description. There should be a link. This particular picture is not up on Redbubble yet, but if it turns out good, I will try and get it loaded up. Let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in purchasing this painting on a... Uh, some sort of red bubble product. Like I said, comforters, frame prints, um, t shirts, stickers. Did I say stickers already? Anyway, check out my red bubble account. There's other birds already up there and other pictures that I've done, some really bizarre ones. All right, I think this is the part where my eyes started to glaze over. It was time for me to go to bed. I was tired. So, but do believe this. Is, I even stopped painting for a while. Probably fell asleep in my chair. Nope, here I go again. All right, my friends, that's pretty much it. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could, um, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the description below. And uh, go paint some birds. Go a draw. You need to draw something every day. It's good for the soul. It's good for the stress. It's good for you. It's good for your skills. Now it's your turn. Go make some art.